friends such a joy to be back together with you we've been talking about walking victorious in this christian life and we're looking at spiritual realities that help us overcome um the world and the enemy out there that is satan today i want to look at the holy spirit and the power of the holy spirit if we consider the life of jesus we see that even he walked in the empowerment of the holy spirit there is a messianic prophecy about jesus um that isaiah uh, shared and this is recorded for us in luke chapter 4 verses 18 and 19 i'll read it for us it says the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the broken hearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind to set at liberty those who are oppressed to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord so we look at this messianic prophecy uh, and in luke chapter 4 jesus was actually reading this out in a synagogue and after reading it out you know he stated that this was fulfilled in their sight so what he was saying is he was saying that I am the Messiah and I have come here to deliver people from the works of Satan. But even in saying that, you know, he began this this uh passage with the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He also says he has anointed me. The Lord Jesus uh is the son of God. He's fully God and fully man. And as a person who was sent here on the earth you know leaving behind his heavenly glory we know that he walked with the anointing and the empowering of the holy spirit that is how he was able to do the mighty works of god now everything that is listed out here about ministering to people ministering to the broken hearted the poor the captives the blind the oppressed all of this is possible because of the anointing of the holy spirit we also see in luke 4:14 that when jesus returned from the wilderness after his fast he returned with the anointing or the power of the holy spirit so this uh, establishes for us that the lord jesus also served through the empowering of the holy spirit now in the case of Jesus's disciples we are all familiar with acts 1:8 when um they were told to wait for the power that they would receive from on high from the holy spirit and after the baptism in the holy spirit you know they could go and minister to everyone in you know, different cities regions and all of that because Jesus knew that this was the the way in which he ministered and even the disciples needed the empowering of the holy spirit and then in the book of acts we see that uh, many mighty miracles took place healings deliverances and all of that and today for us friends as we um uh, live out god's assignment as we go against the enemy to overcome him we have the anointing of the holy spirit with us we are empowered with the holy spirit and i want to encourage you depend on that and you will see many breakthroughs um through the power of the holy spirit let's pray together heavenly father we thank you lord for the holy spirit and his ministry in our lives we pray that god you would give us a deeper revelation of this truth and lord we pray that lord at every step um we will see the work of the holy spirit in our lives and let our faith arise let our faith keep growing in what you're doing in Jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org